hello traders or new technical traders let me put it that way got some fundamental traders out there this is dollar will trying to give you a i guess quick and dirty uh introduction to the technical perspective of things as we approach trading on monday i want to turn your attention to the all-important u.s dollar i am dollar will and I believe the dollar is the most important instrument to watch. It will help you in your trades uh, with energy, metals, cryptos. The dollar is the joint. What we're looking at here is a four-day chart of U.S. dollar. I want to call your attention first to a low that was established in September. And... Now turn your attention here to a low well, uh, established on Friday. The exact state of affairs right now is inconclusive because the dollar is in a channel that it has not broken out of. So it's too early to tell. But one thing that did happen that is of note. This is Friday. When stocks are declining, it's pretty uncommon for the stock to close positive on a Friday. The market doesn't, uh, traders don't like holding money in a losing uh, stock over the weekend because many times the market will open up even lower on Monday. But the fact that the market felt good about the dollar on Friday suggests that there's some uh, change in sentiment possibly going on. And this is not guaranteed, okay, that every time it closes on positive on a Friday, that means it's going up. It, it suggests that there is uh, something going on. But I like to put the good old simple trend line in, or you see I have a moving, moving average there. To me, in my mind, I, that functions as a trend line to me. And so on Monday or Tuesday, I fully expect the dollar to break above my imaginary trend line or that moving average right there. And that will end this. Uh, it will complete this cycle of up and retest and resumption of the uptrend that, in my opinion, resume in September of 2017. And when, if I am right, you will see gold, oil, um, and let's say Bitcoin, you will see them act adversely to the dollar. Up move. Let's see. Go back to my four hour chart. See me going back and forth between four hour and, 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 and daily. It's mostly because of this oscillator here at the bottom. This is called a stochastic. And the stochastic is a momentum indicator. And this red line you see here is tells us when the when the uh, momentum, uh, in this case the downward momentum, is at extreme lows in an extreme area. We call that uh, oversold. And the green line is telling me that the buying pressure is at extreme uh, highs, and that we are overbought. And once you when you get to oversold states and overbought states, the likelihood of a uh, it's that's telling you that a reversal, at least in the near term, uh, for, you know, for the next move, um, is 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 uh, that we're likely to reverse direction. It doesn't necessarily mean we're reversing the entire trend. It just means we're going to reverse direction. This uh, reversal happened in September twelfth. Uh, and it rose until November the 1st. Pretty good uh, amount of time. All right. So there you go. With that, let's see, let's see. What else we got here? Let's see. So that's that for the dollar. I'm going to, uh, there's really not that much more to say about it until we have our channel breakout or a resumption of the downtrend. Um, I just wanted to point your your attention in the direction 
of uh, the dollar activity so that you can um, make, uh, I guess, a more informed uh, opinion, have a more informed opinion about what's going on with uh, Bitcoin. I don't own Bitcoin. I don't own any cryptos. Uh, I will. I'm attracted to this decline. I don't think it's over. And in the next chart, I'm going to do a real quick, uh, I guess, a drive-by chart read, if you will, of uh, Bitcoin.